I'm Stephanie Izard, chef and owner of Girl and the Goat and now Little Goat. Uh, Little Goat came to be for a couple of reasons. When we first opened Girl and the Goat, it was a little crowded in the kitchen, so we wanted to take our bake shop and move it across the street or to another location. And I thought, hey, let's just open a little breakfast place, maybe 20 seats, no big deal. Um, but when the space across the street that used to be red light came to be, it was beautiful, it was on the corner, which is what we're always looking for, but it was huge. So it wasn't able to be just a little bake shop with a couple of seats. So we had to think of a concept that we wanted to put into this beautiful large corner space with tons of windows. And the first thing that came to mind was a diner. Going with the diner theme, we're really tapping into people's memories, people's comfort. Um, there's a lot of stuff on the menu that is from my own childhood. I think when I was describing the, the menu to the servers, I said, my mom used to make this, my mom used to make this probably a hundred times over and over again. So there's lots of different parts to Little Goat. It's not just, as the name states, Little Goat. It's actually the supersized goat with a bunch of different sections. Um, so the first section is the diner. It's the main portion, um, about 120 seats. It's a shout out to a diner without being just the classic one you're picturing in your head when you hear a diner. The menu itself is about 75 menu items, breakfast, lunch, dinner, anything you want all day long, because that's what a diner is supposed to be. And then just putting in our warm touches. Attached to the diner is actually called Little Goat Bread. I just decided that I wanted to serve good bread. I think a lot of people overlook that. Um, you know, even just serving warm bread, if you take that one step, is fantastic. But we thought we'd take it a step further and actually bake the bread in house. So, first step was finding someone that loves to bake bread because not really my thing. I really enjoy bread production because it's taking care of something. It's, you're, it's very tactile, it's very, uh, very hands-on, but having this new space built where we are just incredibly set up, we've got beautiful ovens, we've got an awesome stand mixer, we've got a uh, dedicated cooler space. Yeah, I really couldn't ask for more. We're really going to get some good, some good products out of there. I can't wait. Well, so we have in the back, the main sort of show going on there is actually watching our bakers bake. And then in front of that, we have a little merchandise area. We love having things with goats on them. Um, so now we have a place to sell them. And we also just started a line of sauces called The Flavor. So you can pick those up there. So you can add a little of the flavor from Girl and the Goat and from Little Goat into your cooking at home. And then I think the more fun part is um, the bar and the coffee. So two different kinds of bars. You have the coffee bar in the morning, or the regular bar if you want, we don't judge. Uh, we've got our coffee bar where you can get Stumptown coffee. Uh, the people at Stumptown care as much about the products as we care about all of our products from farms. Um, just a very similar philosophy, so it seemed like a perfect fit. Um, so you can start off your mornings with some Stumptown coffee, and then you can come back later for some cocktails. We've got a full bar in the same area. We figure we'll just slowly transition into more of a bar feel as the day goes on. Um, we have 14 different beers on tap, all craft beers from, um, from the U.S., and we'll also have a full line of cocktails, mostly classic. Um, we're working on collaborations with different breweries, so the beer side of it is really what we're focusing on in the bar. I'm just excited to, that's what's gonna make it, that's a diner, you know, there's this cheesy, it's cheesy and fun at the same time while focusing on serving great food and having having good service. You know, at, uh, at Little Goat, even though it's designed to be you just order your own plate, I think that most people, especially in the beginning, are gonna come in and share, come in with a few friends, order, maybe four of you are gonna order five things to try, um, and just pass them around and share them. That's how I always like to eat, um, but I wanted to sort of have it set up that you can kind of go either way, but there's so many things to choose from and so many different directions you can go, and um, you know, at 10 o'clock in the morning, you're welcome to get any of the sandwiches or the burgers or the eggs or the whatever, so, you know, I think you're gonna have to come in a few times to try through all the different things. But where are you gonna go at three o'clock in the afternoon on a random Monday? Go to the diner.